All right. All righty then. Is Ooh. it time to come? It is. Ooh. To a world of wonder, like huh. no other. Oh, you mean I have to stop Norway? Okay. Oh boy, Norway! Free healthcare. Let's go. Norway is one of the. Uh... Oh shit! I didn't launch oh. Bikubot. Get Bikubot up. N- Norway is considered one of the uh, best places to live. Also, chat. How's our audio? How's how is everything? I just don't get why I keep saying you're doing whatever favorite is. I don't know. My, my the stream title is weird for some reason. It hasn't updated in like ages. Uh, I'm... Talbs, thank you for the fifty-two months. Hi, Talbs. May the God of War, maybe the God of War was the friends we made along the way. <laughs> It could be. It could very well be. Cory the Platypus? Thank you for the 14 months. <laughs> now, uh, where <laughs> was I? Uh, Collect uh, keys uh, to enter the stronghold. Hmm. Collect keys, huh? There we go. Now, what was I doing? I I don't remember. Norway is the best place to live, but it has one of the highest rates of depression in the world. What? Yep. Yep. Same thing with Finland. Has a high rate of alcoholism. Huh. Why? I guess just because it's depressing being in the snowy north. Also, they can the urge to they can't fulfill the urge to raid. <laughs> they can't go off and pillage people. Yeah, can't <laughs> page and ra- can't raid and pillage anymore. Oh man! Years of rage has become depression. Just like your life. I I can't go off into the, the countryside and pillage. Oh. I can't go off in pillage anymore. It looks like I'm going to just be a sad boy from now on. <laughs> oh boy, I cannot destroy a village and take people and raid and pillage and take their gold. People I'm are getting banned die. from Xbox Live for using Final Fantasy XIV terminology in game. What Final what? Fantasy XIV terminology? That sounds wacky. Oh, yeah, right, this what... one. Uh, what was I doing? How did I... Uh... Is this open? Do I... It is open. Like the word class or Thanaland? What? One second. What the fuck? I can't wait to go to Thanaland. Oh, what the hell. But classes aren't even in Final Fantasy XIV. They're jobs. Than anal land. Oh. Oh no, anal. Because it has anal land has the word anal in it. That. Yep. Nice. An ass with class. Well, maybe they should use the proper terminology. Because they're jobs. They're not classes. Yeah, that- that yeah. one's on the players there, brother. It's a job system, not a class yeah. system, Ben. That is weird, though. Yeah. With with stupid stuff like that, it's 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 obviously a bot like thing. Oh, yeah. It's not. It's oh, not like yeah. a. It's it's not like a person like. Looking at them, be like, "Oh, the word anal is in that word. It's b- 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 ban." 
I'm a glen. I'm a gladiator. A glan Uh. Oh, I do find that quite risable, however. Even uh -huh. though I'm sure uh -huh. Xbox Final Fantasy players do not find it as funny. What keys am I looking for? Someone I knew this banned. was going to happen. I knew well, I was going to forget what I was doing. <laughs> well, it's, I, it's I, simple to find here. Huh? There you go. I played this right before going to Seattle. Yeah. Uh, you were unlocking something. Yeah, I wasn't I need, here for the last one, but I need keys. Apparently, that's what I need. Well, you see, Divine Hero is simple. You just uh, just be like me and never be invited to a free company and never join one for it. So. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, the least active member of my free company. I feel so bad. I, I've just never been invited to one. I, th I think you're still part of Joe's old free company. Yeah, I'm, I'm in I'm in Joe Cat's free company, but he since left it, so it's... He abandoned us because he's too cool for us. Oh, ho, ho. The... The internet proceeded to freak the fuck out about upon this video. Because he likes girls. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh Damn, no. that strength buff is fucking crazy. Chat, chat, I have a I have a confession. I I like girls. What what kind of girls specifically? <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> and it. I don't know, Connor, with or without a penis. It, it, it quite doesn't mm. matter to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How dare you? How dare you I, like I'm, this? I'm that fucking Mr. Incredible meme. Just ass is ass. <laughs> this is when you see the entire chat start typing people leave and you just see Pepe just bloody and it's like, oh. <laughs> Ow! Sorry. How dare you? Says the average girl dick enjoyer. Kratos smiles. All right. Okay. 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 All right. None of that! In this house, we choke on girl pocket. We like it! We were already Ooh. silly. I, there's no just being so silly gave me a small headache. Oh no! Okay. I laughed. I laughed. Take some Benadryl or something. I'm already taken to my death row. Oh. 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 I will overdose on Advil, which... Uh. Listen, listen, what's a little liver damage? What, what, I need like... that. Oh, you, you don't need... Okay, first of all, the liver grows back. <laughs> it grows back when you cut it. Not if you that is true. It. The liver can grow back from almost nothing. Wait, what? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh yep. shit! I actually didn't know this. Get the liver can, but yep. not from toxic. It doesn't grow back from being uh, killed with toxins. That kills it. <laughs> okay, but but like if you have a healthy liver, if you have a if you like, have a healthy liver, you can snip off a piece of it, and a new liver will grow back. Whoa! Yeah, we we, why, we do why, have. Why don't all of our organs do that? Because it's not necessary, I guess. <laughs> Why the fuck is it just our liver? Wait, what? Uh, I I am unsure. I thought it was just like the human the human condition of like we can't regenerate parts of our body except our liver. Uh, evidently. What the fuck? Also, what is so this? like if if we lose a lung, that shit doesn't regenerate. That shit doesn't no. grow back. Or, or like a small, like part of the small intestine, like that doesn't regenerate. 
No. It's just our liver. Just our liver for some reason. Just Guys, there. Hi, hi. Uh -huh. My name is Therapod Art. I learned I learned things today. This is this is what you, this is why you come to the streams chat. You learn. You you get learned things. See. You see the liver is a wonder, but if you overtax it with alcohol or drugs, it will just die and then it doesn't regenerate. So. Well, well yeah, cuz cuz alcohol is <sighs> poison and I also think that liver transplants, like... Yeah, you can cut off a small piece of your liver. And, like, and donate it to somebody? And it will, and they'll attach it to another person's liver, and your small piece of liver can possibly restart someone else's liver. Hold, hold up, hold up. So I could become an alcoholic, destroy my liver, and then, and then take somebody else's wait, liver wait, 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 wait. and just repeat the process? Technically... I don't I don't advise that, but huh. are we hmm. are you speed running liver death here? That's the, I'm not giving you mine. The Nathan explosion. I need another liver transplant. <laughs> he just he just he just like drinks profusely. He starts throwing up blood. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. Oh God, yeah. the blood puke. I think I need a liver transplant. Apparently, it can grow to normal size even after ninety percent of it's removed. What yeah. the fuck? Livers are crazy, dude. Welcome what the to, fuck? Welcome to the anatomy stream. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, man. I just, I genuinely thought like just being a human, like it's just a limitation of our anatomy that we can't regenerate shit. No, it's just all in our liver. Why Unless just our? Why not our brain or our heart? Like, really well, because, important organs. Because we're scavengers and we need a lot of bullshit. Oh, oh yeah. god. That, if that's we literally could regenerate the our brains when they're damaged, we, we would be fucking invincible as a species. Yeah, yeah. You know, all those, all those sports players or myself that get a million concussions are somehow still alive. We'd be, we'd be unkillable. So. Oh yeah, because without your liver, your blood will poison itself. That's exactly true. Oh shit, yeah. So, the liver is necessary because the blood kills it. Because the blood becomes toxic and the liver cleans it. And then it regenerates the parts that it used to clean the blood. Dr. Connors was right. We should become lizard people for regenerative abilities. That's what I've been saying! Yeah, but Dr. Kirk Connors also went yeah, complete lizard strong. brain. So, you know, yeah. Your god yeah. That is the that is the one thing I wanted from No Way I Home. I spent almost five where, hours doing where, a trigonometry like, the, the test today. It was not like a final. I wanted Peter Parker to be like, "Well, okay, you rewrote your DNA to be a giant lizard man. With that, you could like cure cancer or something." Mm -hmm. And then I wanted the lizard guy to do that quote of just like, "No, I don't want to cure cancer. I want to turn people into lizards." But we didn't get that in the movie. So. It, Darn. In the, in the old '90s uh, cartoon show, he legitimately was just like. Dr. Connors, you can do amazing things with this. And he's like, no, I want to become the king of the lizards. And he's like, everyone with lizards. And it's like, okay. <laughs> okay, I do know this, Darth Revan. The stomach lining is a mucus. So, um, it's, it's not like your stomach is, like, eating itself, like it's destroying the cells. It's eating out a mucus lining your, that your is stomach, around the stomach. Your stomach lining constantly generates a mucus yeah. that constantly keeps it safe from the stomach acid. That's why ulcers in the stomach are so dangerous. Yeah. I do know that. I, I do know some things about the human body, but I am not a doctor. Do not consult me for medical advice. I once got a small cut on my lip, and I still have a scar from it today. Damn. That's weird. I mean, doctor. I still have scars on my fingers from doing stuff like that. Dr. Pod, no, no, I I don't want to be a doctor. Doctor, I, Dr. Therapy. I, man, I would love to have a job where I just see a patient for five minutes, tell them to take ibuprofen, and I get paid $500,000. I, when I was a kid, I ran into the, like, the... You, did, did you ever have, like, cubbies, like, where you put your shit when you were a kid? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. I, I, oh, yeah. I, ran, I ran into the corner of one of those. Uh, head first. Oh, yeah, that'll that'll I, scar up. I I have a scar uh, next to my left eye to this day. <gasps> yeah. I uh, 
I have a deviated septum because I was sitting on a uh, like on a small hill on my sled with my uncle while my dad went to go get me a hot chocolate. You a cracked store. your head open twice. How are Burn you flax, here? What the fuck? <laughs> well, you Burn. see, guys, you just have you have to aerate the brain, or else you don't I mean. Off. Humans are simultaneously like extra fragile. Yes. We've talked also, about we've talked about exactly this topic yeah, before yeah, yeah, yeah. on this stream. Yeah, just about how humans are like weirdly cool, extremely durable, and yet extremely fragile. Yeah. R slash humans or space orcs, isn't it? Isn't it some sort of gecko or? Uh... Skink that can regenerate limbs, not just uh, uh, axolotl. Axolotl. Well, I, mean, I think there's a lizard that can do it too. Uh, axolotl. Um. I, I know lizards can regenerate limbs. I don't know if there's any that can regenerate limbs, but axolotls can regenerate limbs. Well, axolotls. They're weird little salamanders that don't grow up. I decided to not evolve past this. I mean, be, being in that neonate stage, like they need, they need less oxygen, so they could just like live in a puddle, like a stagnant puddle of mud, and survive. You've taken yeah, the like... backside of a rock claw hammer to the cheek. Ow! What the... Chat, are you guys okay? What the fuck? People be getting hurt out here. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, like, my uncle accidentally pushed me down a small hill that was right next to a chain-link fence when I was on a toboggan once. And I slid into it, and I smashed my face into the chain-link fence, and that's why I can't smell things properly anymore. Oh, Damn. no. My, my septum got deviated real bad. <laughs> oh, no. Food tastes good to me, but I know it doesn't taste like it should. And when people go, oh, this is amazing, and I eat it, and I go, yeah, it does taste really good. And then I go, I wish I could taste it like you could. Because I don't want to pay for the surgery to have my deviate, my septum undeviated. Hmm. What's your biggest scar, chat? Hmm. Oh, the one where I sat. Uh, the one where I shot. Um, on my leg, I have a pretty bad um, burn scar from... Um... My, my leg brushed up against a motorcycle. That, that like, pipe that was hot. Ooh. Oh, it's a burn scar. Damn. Yep. Yep. Um. Uh, it, it's very faint. It's very, very hard to see, but it, it's it's there. It happened to me when I was like seven. I was really young. Um. I think my biggest one that's lasted is actually one where I had a where I, when I was a kid I had a. Like a cyst under my eyebrow, or like near my eyebrow, and I thought it was just a really stubborn um, pimple. So, as a teenager, I took one of my modeling knives and cut the cyst out. So I have like a hole above, God, like a small damn. hole above one. I eyebrow. think Rabbit did that shit before. Oh no! I was born a twenty-four-week-year-old premature baby with cerebral palsy. I had 90% of functioning normally and even walked at this exact moment right now. I'm doing both. Hot damn. Dude. Yeah, cerebral palsy is no joke. Mm hmm. I have a scar on my chest from leaving a mustard cast on my chest. What's a mustard cast? Might be a typo. Like an autocorrect typo. Otherwise, all my bad scars are on my fingers from when I worked in restaurants. So. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I totally, like, sliced the tip of one of my fingers. Yeah. Really badly. Like, I, I almost cut off the tip of one of my fingers and I was cutting green onions one night. Yeah. I, uh... There's not really a scar left, but I, I stabbed into my thumb in front of a customer with a knife. And, like, blood trailed down my arm and everything. And the customer saw it and was just, and I was just like, um, I need to go into the back. 
I just went into the back and just blood is trailing down my arm. And my manager is like, what the fuck? And I'm just like, yeah, I need to. I think I need to go to the hospital and get stitches. I was scarred on my forehead from chasing my sister when I was first learning to walk. My sister pushed me. I fell down and broke my head open on the little shelf that connects all the legs. Oh my god. God damn. I have an in inguinal hernia scar I got at age 20. A foot long surgical scar on my stomach. I got into a car accident when I was five, and the seatbelt ruptured my large intestine. God damn. Oh my god. That shit's supposed to keep you safe. I mean, that that probably is the safe option. The other option was This is going death. flying out the windshield. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. The other option was, instead of a ruptured large intestine, was a ruptured person. Yeah, the, the other biggest... option was you getting murdered. Yeah. The biggest scar on I have is a surgical scar on my right hand. Uh, I was, uh, I think I told this story before, I was playing football in middle school. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I was tackled and my hand fell on a rock. Yeah. Uh, at, at, a, at a high velocity. Uh, and it... It, uh, it fractured my knuckle and my middle finger, uh, in a way that it would not heal properly without surgery. Uh, so I have just a big scar right in the middle of my hand. Blah. Yep. Uh, to this day, I have a plate and five screws in my hand. Oh, damn. Chat, be safe. <laughs> it used to be way more noticeable. Now, not not nearly as much, but... Yeah. Now now that I'm thinking about it, my hand feels weird. <laughs> like, chat. Yep, I got metal in there. Chat, always remember, put on your seatbelt, look both ways before crossing the street. Yeah, living your life, you get hurt. Don't make yeah. it easier than it needs to be. <laughs> like I'm about to do by fucking with this golem. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're not we're not ancient demigods with with fucking magical items out the wazoo. Oh my god! Atreus! This shit be crazy. VP shunt in my head and stomach. It's been in my body since I was one and a half, and it's still functioning. I'm 30 and I have not had a malfunction. My brain has grown. My brain has grown around my brain. Huh? 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 Oh. I I don't know what that means. I did. Uh... No shit. Ah. Well, you're gonna have to help me put it back in. Oh, their brain has grown around their shell. Oh, I did a thing recently and I rewatched all of Zeta again. And, uh,. I mean, Zeta Gundam is honestly thought to be one of the best Gundam shows, but holy fuck did I forget how fucking dark and depressing that show can be. Well, uh, isn't Gundam altogether kind of depressing and bleak? Like, the Gundams it, are like... Well, it depends. Gundam is well, a... Gundam, a lot of the time, is about war, so yes. 
yeah, yeah. about war and how war is bad, but as he got the nickname Kill 'em All Tomino, he wrote Gundam Zeta when he was in a bad, uh, depressive state in his life, so that kind of showed through in the writing. Mm -hmm. But it was like, there's, a, there's a, a point at the end when so many people fucking die, and I'm like, holy shit, and, and like, one of the, uh, and just one of the villain characters gets away with killing so many people and doesn't die himself. And it's like, oh my god, okay, holy shit. Dude, yeah. fuck. Dude, sometimes, sometimes there is no justice. No, he, like, well, like, his suit gets blown up, and he escapes in an escape pod, and you see him fly out into space in his escape pod. And you're just like, wait, he doesn't die? He just, that's it? He's gone? It's like, yep, he's just gone now. He, he lived. He's like one of the people in this big final, like, five episode long final battle that just lives. He was he was stopped, but he was he didn't pay for what he'd done. Nope. He the guy's a fucking cockroach, and I was like, I forgot how and he's a scumbag. He's like he talks down on women the entire show, but it's like he, he's a fucking cockroach who somehow manages to survive like ninety percent of everything. Yes, Gumba Gundam is about robots in depression, and also Noah Bright mm -hmm. fucking, fucking punching teenagers because they won't get a new robot. <laughs> uh, kind of Divine Hero. It's more like, uh, women can't pilot robots as good as I can, sort of guy. Oh. Oh my god. Well, here's the thing, Immortals Blade. Uh, b both sides, Zeon and the Earth Federation, are bad, but they're also good. So It's almost like... You know... Every... Everybody has good and bad people, and no, no side of any conflict is inherently evil. Mm -hmm. They're both bad, and they're both good. It just, it also just sort of depends which series you're looking at, which one is more bad. Char did a lot wrong, Wolver. <laughs> I love Char, and that guy did a lot wrong. Uh, no, Immortal Blade. The quote is, uh, there's a guy in there, um, one of the zombie kids is like, Near the end of the one year war was going, hey, uh, we need to kill Earth get Earth go, the Earth feds and we just need to kill the Earthlings. I'm just gonna do worse. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh shit. You ripped that guy in half. You fucking tore I, that. We are done here. <laughs> oh my god, Kratos. I, I ripped him in half from his jaw. And and then and then the leader of Zeon turns to him and goes, Did you ever hear of a an old Earth leader called Adolf Hitler? And he goes, No. Uh, Who was he? And he goes, Oh, you remind me a lot of him right now. That's all. <laughs> Here we go. Damn. Fuck up this soul devourer. Damn, the soul devourer is a rock. I, I guess. It is one of the criticisms of this game that they reuse a lot of models. It, see, I find that to be a criticism of a lot of open world games, because it's yeah. really easy to just make a bunch of simple recolors or simple slight changes to the same enemy over and over. Yeah. But it's ridiculous to me when some people turn around and will criticize one open world game for that, but then will say another is, uh, that they can't, another, you can't criticize another, a different open world game for the same thing. Which is why it's, it's grown to make me hate, uh, not hate, but I actually don't really like Breath of the Wild or Fear of the Kingdom because of fans that do that. Or those games. Oh, I have, I have no stakes in that race. I had someone talk at me in the face until they were blue in the face, trying Damn to explain it. to me. Oh shit! Um, 
why it's okay for your Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild to reuse bosses and enemies. Uh, but it's not okay for Elden Ring to do the same thing. Oh. Gamers are dead. Oh, yeah. So I was just like, okay, whatever. No, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, oh no! I don't know how to fucking fight these things. Jesus Christ. I gotta fight these fucking werewolves over and again. I guess just gotta tear them in half again. Teach you this lesson. I do agree with you, Immortals Blade. I wish games had a lot more variety and stuff in it, but then we fall into the problem of uh, publishers usually do not let people have enough time to do that these days. So it's easier to cut corners when a publisher is being a prick. And I would rather we have more games come out than almost no games come out. Honestly. You know what? Can 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 we take it like no no games for a month? Let me let me catch up, please. <laughs> There's too many good games out. I need a month to catch up. Yeah, that's, that's why I stopped listening to that one person on their game opinions, and they tried to argue that it's not okay for Elden Ring to reuse bosses when Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild lift the exact same fucking way. And worse, in my opinion. Some people be dumb. Like, what the fuck do I do against this? Uh, you're kind of doing it right now, just staying away. I think you just have to try and dodge roll out of the ex away from the explosions. I think. It's been a, a long... I did buy this game on Google Games when it was on Super Sale recently. I haven't been playing it, but it's like I haven't reached the point where I'm fighting these big guys. I did it. You did it. Resistance to poison. Oh, wait, no, this isn't what I wanted. Kratos, why can't you just funny leap across the chasm? Cause cause the yellow paint is telling him to do otherwise. Fuuuuck! <laughs> cause Kratos goes, boy, there's yellow paint, I could, we have to shimmy. But dad, can't you like leap across a mountain? No boy. Ye <laughs> yellow paint boy! Oh, wait a minute, okay, I see. I see what needs to be done here. Mm. 
finally grabs hold of the toddler. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, was that too dark? That went places. Ah. Pit bulls are not inherently <laughs> geared towards mauling children. Oh, no. Pit bulls are called nanny <laughs> dogs for a reason, actually. Jokes are funny. <laughs> Well, pit bulls are actually called nanny dogs for a reason, but also pit bulls have, do have a capacity. But they're not inherent. Pit bad bulls dogs. get a bad fucking rap. They do get a bad rap. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the moral of the story is if you see a big dog, just treat it, treat it with respect. Maybe we should treat all of them. Maybe from birth we should treat all dogs with respect instead of making it, instead of like treating them with unrespect. Yeah. That like is that. true. Like what Kratos just did. Well, usually a lot of smaller dogs uh, were bred to be hunt were bred to hunt down vermin, so yeah, they're a lot more aggressive because they were bred for those aggressive traits for vermin hunting. Mm. It turns out oh, yeah. every animal is capable of mauling your children if you piss it off enough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. As it turns out, uh, if you don't tell your child to not poke the dog in the eye 12 times, the dog will bite the child. Hmm. There's a conundrum. Yeah, how the fuck oh, do you do this? Right, 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 right. I need to go to the actual, like, plinth down there. Kratos, you big dummy. Throws boy off cliff. Little silly. <laughs> Dad, you're kind of dumb. Throws boy off cliff. <laughs> uh, yeah, winter dogs et, are, hunt, are bred to hunt et badgers. Eto bleh boy. Eto bleh boy. Throws off cliff. Wiener dogs are bred to hunt badgers. Oh. That's true, actually. Yeah. Well, they would use pit bulls as nanny dogs. When they were trained to. <laughs> so. Oh my god, you're smashing the ground. Oh yeah, he's having he, a tantrum, but everyone's doing it. You know Borjois, those weird, funny dogs with the long noses? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're those are bred to kill wolves. Yep. Mm-hmm. Also, because they, they can actually get their mouth around it. Mm hmm They have that long, funny nose, uh, and that gives them a vastly superior sense of smell and a very directional sense of smell, too, because their nose is actually prehensile. Yeah. God, that's crazy. Yep. Ch Chihuahuas are bred to be disappointments. Oh, fuck. Oh, my <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, chihuahuas are actually bred to, like, hunt mice and stuff. But chihuahua funny. <laughs> well, like, funny small dogs. Weren't they actually bred to, like, kill mice and shit like that? I, I don't know. I'm sure I most have... animals are, are... Nowadays, we're bred for something for humanity's purposes. I think, un unlike pugs, I think we're bred just for their looks. <laughs> Basset is... hounds are... are... Uh, bred to be hunting dogs, they actually... You'll notice that most basset hounds have a white tip on their tail. That's so hunters can see them more easily when they're out hunting. Yeah. Sure. Oh, shit. Also, Common Zero is correct. They're just superior <laughs> to most other types of dogs. Chihuahuas were bred to be lap dogs for Aztec nobility. They were literally living hot water bottles. True. I, okay. Yeah. I watch a lot of animal rescue videos and it's insane how many people think a wild animal will behave like a pet. 
I recently watched a oh, video yeah. of some woman buying a piglet for her small daughter and ignoring the vet going, this pig in a year will be 300 pounds and will eat your daughters. Yeah, now, I... Uh, Atreus, we're talking no, wild pig, right? Atreus, yeah, you, nothing... Or go ahead, go ahead. He had a bunch of... He had a bunch of, of, of prime energies before this. Oh my god, yeah, Atreus is... Atreus has the zoomies, oh my Boy, god. Boy, you've got restless legs, Sidra. Boys, you have zoomies. Oh yeah. Uh, nothing grinds my gears more than seeing people just, like, go up and poke, like, wild raccoons and, and other animals and shit. Like, do you not know how deadly rabies is? Spoiler, it's 100% deadly. That's not no, true. definitely. It is 90% deadly. <laughs> I think there, there is no there... cure for rabies. There, I think there is someone. Yeah, so currently there is... who is alive, living with rabies. Yeah, so what they had to do though is they had to lower their body temperature to the point where they were in a medically. Did we talk about coma. this too? Maybe, yeah. maybe. How but, many um, of these conversations have we had before? A lot. T time, time is a circle. T time is a flat circle, Uplander. Um. Excuse me. Ex <laughs> but so, yeah. Stop stop poking wild animals. I also yes. had to ask because Immortals Blade brought up the pig thing is like did they buy a wild pig or a domesticated pig for their daughter? Hmm, I don't I don't because know. Because the wild pig thing, yeah, I could see that growing. Like Why both pigs are going to grow to be 300 so pounds, but it's like the wild pig wanted to eat your daughter like, definitely. There are many domesticated pigs as far as I know are incredibly friendly when raised as pets. So which makes confirming yeah. anything about this particular And they're actually incredibly smart too. So but the one constant oh, yeah. among them. I I saw a video recently of um, a black bear protection. trying to get into a pig pen and it, and it does. King, you see. And the pigs fight off the black bear. Pigs are fucked. Pigs will fucking throw down. If they have to, they're not. Oh yeah, just well, because like just because well, like trust? pigs in a pig pen have been so, bred out of their wild eyes, nature. Instincts, oh, when it's go time, they'll fucking go for trust it. Blind a legend so, yeah. is a gamble, and rarely does it pay off. If you oh, corner so. any animal, it, it will, has the capacity. It will. It'll fuck you up. Remember seeing a video of a pet pig biting a guy's leg that was trying to mug its owner. Yep. Oh God. I wish bears weren't so friend shaped. They're just big dogs. When you think about it, well, black, no, black, bear, black no. bears. Just bears are just big dogs. When you think about it, right? Like, no, <laughs> they're God, they're friendly. Hate, you go I, up and you pet them. <laughs> I fucking hate bears because, like, bears I mean, have just, two. They have two, in your yard. <laughs> yeah, bears have two maxed out uh, settings. They have maxed out adorableness. They are so fucking cute and fluffy looking. And then the other stat they have maxed out is capacity for murder. They will murder the shit out of you. So, black bears, I will, uh, black bears, you know, are, I will actually agree, are just like, are just big, stupid dogs. But they're also, you know, very dangerous, big, stupid dogs. Grizzly bears will fucking throw down with you. Don't fucking, don't you fucking dare go near a grizzly right. fucking bear. Oh, yeah. If. Okay. Uh, a black bear, oh like, they're, they're mostly pushovers, still don't, like, fuck don't with fuck them, because they're black bears, like, don't... It's don't a fuck. bear. Yeah, it's a bear, don't fuck with it. But if, if you're ever in a... If you're ever in a situation with a grizzly bear or polar bear, like, good fucking luck. <laughs> you're... Oh, oh, yeah. You are... There's a, there's oh. a... There's an old adage. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, lay down. If it's white, you're gonna fucking die. <laughs> yeah, if it's white, you're about to fucking die. Yeah. yeah but if it's a God. polar bear, you better pray you're inside a house. Yeah, like a car is not enough. A polar bear will just rip off a car door and eat you. Polar bears, like, polar bears, and Kodiak bears will actively hunt people. That's why I'm scared of them. Yeah, there's um. There's um you know Sun that bears city? are just derpy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um you know that small village up up way, way north, like past Iceland, um Svalvard, where oh. like that seed vault Hi, is. Down. What did mm -hmm. you expect? You know the big seed vault oh, no. where like they just keep all the West seeds Rome, in the I world guess? and stuff? Yes. Um, Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Everybody in that town has to walk around with a rifle because of polar bears. 
Like, polar bears just walk around there all the fucking time. And so everybody walks around with rifles because of polar bears. It's an open carry state, brother. <laughs> I mean, yeah, when you're that far north, like, the only wildlife around is, like, fish and polar bears. Fish, seals, and polar bears. And polar bears will fuck down with you. Yeah. Yeah. More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. I'm sorry, Berg Flax. I know Monty has a thing against bears, but Monty it's would fucking die and be snapped in half in front of a grizzly bear. Yeah, like, legitimately, grizzly bears do not fuck with grizzly bears. No. Oh. Monty chases black bears out of her yard. Monty would not fuck with a grizzly bear. <laughs> she, she actually ran into a black bear, bear in her yeah. backyard that was eating one of her pumpkins. Yeah. Yeah. Literally, literally ran into it. Oh, yeah. Sloth bears regularly fight off tigers and are super aggressive, even though they look really derpy. Yeah, that checks out. Mm. Like I said, bears, they maxed out their cuteness. And then they maxed out their capacity for murder. I've, they, they... I've seen, like, footage of people who have survived bear attacks. Uh, oh, and it's, 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 it's horrific. Yeah, they just they just start eating you. Like, like, like the sec the second you've stopped fighting, they'll just start eating you. Not not that you're dead. The second you've stopped fighting, so you can still be alive on the ground, disemboweled, still alive, and they'll just start eating. Mm -hmm. Awful, awful. It is a fucking bear. I and yes, panda bears are still bears. <laughs> yep, they are still bears. Has anybody died to panda bears? Yes. I'm sure that. <laughs> I saw some dude get get slapped by a bear and it broke it broke his arm so badly that the bone was sticking out of his arm. Jesus Christ. I'm very I'm very sorry, um human boulder. Uh you're forgetting the Komodo dragon. They are an apex predator. Oh, okay, God. but but like Komodo dragon is an apex predator on a small, tiny island. I would, I would, I wouldn't like anything's chance stacked up against that thing. Increases the rate of permafrost or immolation gained by seven percent. Stacks up to twenty one. Twenty one. Twenty one. Well, remember, Thera. Half the point of a of a fucking Komodo dragon is it just has to bite you and you're fucked. So. Yeah. Well, okay, so the 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 bacteria in the mouth is kind of a misnomer. Um, mm -hmm. That's kind of like old, sort of like outdated um, knowledge. Um, Komodo dragons... Oh, yeah, it, it actually is venom, right? It is venom. Yes. Um, and this is true with kind of all lizard saliva, is that it's kind of anticoagulant. Um, mm -hmm. Some lizards, it's more anticoagulant than others. So with Komodo dragons... Um, specifically, all they have to do is bite on and they do ripping motions and the prey bleeds out because like infection takes way longer to kill than just like the prey bleeding out. And so um, yeah. most most Komodo dragons, they kill stuff by lacerating their legs and they just bleed out and then they just eat, <laughs> eat the thing. Yeah. Yeah. But um, the the septic bacteria mouth is is kind of ancient. Um, it, it's, it, it's, it's an a old misnomer. rumor. Yeah, yeah. But they do have a venom. Yes, they do have venom. And that venom is actually deadly. Do you hear that? Er, it, it, it's just, no. it's just. If they bite they do you, do your wound like. doesn't coagulate. Right. You just bleed. You it's just strange. keep bleeding. Large crowd of people. No, no. People survive. Uh, just Immortals blade. Like we, we Wait, have the ability to heal that. Dwarf but it's rain. like, still, we are all technically ominous. humanity is also at an apex. We're not an apex predator, but we're an apex. Listen, the second the second a monkey in Africa picked up a stick and sharpened it, it was all over. Yeah. It was all over Whoa. for nature. The, se the second, oh God. The second a human picked up a stick and picked up a rock, Listen, nature just hasn't recovered. The argument being is you just need to give us prep time and we can kill fucking anything, so. Yeah. So that's the thing with humans. Give us prep time. Fuck it. The, the fact that we can pick stuff up and we work together in groups, like, no animal can compete. No, they can't. Because. Also, it is, as, 
as much as we may not actually think so, our our intelligence stat is the maximum. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, well, yeah. Some humans might be stupider than others, but like the the dumbest our, human is, is a genius compared to most animals. Yeah. It's well, it's not just the spear; it's tool making. It's like hum humans with tool making is more overpowered than most things that animals have. Yeah. Well, well, think about it like this: like think of a rock, okay? Like, think of like a fist-sized rock, okay? And then think of like how hard a human can throw. Like think like a baseball pitcher, okay? Like throwing a rock. Like like imagine throwing a rock with the intent to like hunt and murder something. And now imagine you have like. 20 humans all throwing rocks at something like nothing in nature is gonna stick around for that and then give it and then give humans a funny piece of rope with a cloth on it that we can fire rocks as hard as we can shoot bullets yeah we're fucking we're, we're, we're kill them. also yes chimpanzees do hunt in groups similarly to the way that humans do because yeah it's not hard to believe we Descended yeah. from them. Ch chimps, chimps scare me as much as bears. Yeah. Like, chimps, chimps will rip your face off. Chimps are incredibly intelligent and in incredibly dangerous. I, is it? I thought it was apes, actually. Uh, apes, maybe. I don't remember. I yeah. I mean, I'm not an expert I, I know, on attacks. I know bonobos I know orang are orangutans are like four times more powerful than humans and they can just rip your arm out of its socket without even trying. Yeah. But they are incredibly chill. They are incredibly chill. Don't piss them or off. Yeah. An orangutan would rather hang out with you than hurt you. Yeah. In fact, if you bring it in orange, it might just want to share the orange with you. A lot of yeah. monkeys are pretty chill, but some monkeys are very much not. Yeah. yeah. Learn, learn from bonobos. Bonobos are are all about like fucking, and not fighting. Should be do. B bonobos are like, like are like, hey, we have a problem. We should fuck. Or like bonobos are like, hey, I like you. We should fuck. <laughs> bonobos, they solve every social problem with fucking. And if Why can't they can't, we do that? They push it out of the tree. I know, right? Because <laughs> then we'd be then we'd be Politics then we'd be way funnier. <laughs> You see, then we might turn to Slanesh if that keeps happening. So I have a tremendous penis. Where's the passage <laughs> behind this throne? I have a very small a penis. It's passage. literally concave. Oh, it wouldn't be a proper oh, throne oh. without a secret passage. Well, well, if it's inverse, would it be convex then? Concave. <laughs> Gorillas are chill. Solid. Just don't, just don't look them in the eyes. Yeah, I, th I think. Um, Someone told me, and it's probably wrong, but I don't think there's been a fatal gorilla attack in the wild. Oh, I don't know about that. But it's like, I'm like, I don't know about that either, but I do believe that the rates of a gorilla killing someone in the wild is uh, pretty low because people around who actually respect the gorillas understand. Yeah. Because there's like a village. I'm, I'm going to Google this. Because there's like a village out in like the middle of nowhere somewhere in gorilla country. And the gorillas have a migratory path through it. And the people that live there respect the gorillas. And the gorillas respect them. So it's like... They just let the gorillas do their thing. They have days where they go, yep, yeah, it's gorilla right. migration day. Over just here. stay out of this area. Just like give them space here. And the gorillas also oh, give them space in certain areas. I may want to write that down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking this up. I'm, I'm looking... Of how many people have died to gorillas? All in political issues are settled by who's the best in bed. Oh, that would be hilarious. it would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> Not gonna lie, world conflicts right now. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> huh. But I do think if humans suddenly disappeared, I think the next animal to inherit the her earth would probably either be some sort of bird or some sort of a cetacean creature. Yeah, I could. Crows. Crows. Yeah, dude. could be crows too. Yeah, crows. Yeah, crows are stupid smart, which is oh, they are. which is need to say, but crows are parrots, but crows. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm not finding any statistics on gorillas killing humans. What the fuck? Because I don't think that they fatally attack people in the wild the very often. From him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients. Crows can domesticate about. wolves. That's true. I can say actually. with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head. I, Fair I enough. Did, I, I did find one article saying that, like, there have been a few cases where gorillas attacked and even killed humans, <laughs> although such incidents are rare and the human was always to blame, which, yeah. Well, it's like Human Boulder said, is gorillas are usually pretty passive. Yeah. And they will try if, to warn you multiple times before yeah, attacking if, you. If you die to a gorilla, that is your fault. Oh, yeah. Crows don't forget when someone kills one of their kind. They will haunt you. It's true. Also, uh, another way that uh, crows are smart is that uh, in heavily populated human areas they will bring like nuts they can't break through themselves and they will throw them onto highways yeah and mm -hmm. they will let cars pass over them so they can get to the guts inside of like nuts and stuff crows have become the master of the human biome crows and rats actually whoa we are very close Oh boy. And then uh, octopi also uh, would would probably. The only problem is that they don't live very long. They don't yeah. live very long, but they are very intelligent creatures. Oh, incredibly! The, it's like um... they fart out all their babies and then they die. Well, mom might eat a handful of those babies if she needs to, and then she dies. Uh, oh fuck! Or just grab some like popcorn. Yep. <laughs> Coyotes are smart, but they're not smarter than, like, other Prometheus canines. flames. A deadly slam attack that creates a small tear under up to four enemies before summoning a large pillar of flame beneath them. What the F? You ever just wanted to summon fire, Connor? Fire! Octopus punch fish when they're mad? Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, all! Mother, what are you doing? Sorry, hon. Mama needs a snack. Eats a handful of them. Well, the thing is, is she stays with her kids until they're big enough to sort of, like, leave, and then she dies. Jellyfish are all uh, immortal. Yep. If uh, jellyfish I, think, are... I think the oldest known jellyfish is, like, a thousand years old or something. Jesus. Well, because jellyfish are essentially... An overgrown they're like, just like tissues and stuff they're like they're... an overgrown uh microscopic organism essentially I'll yeah, be 21 by the time of the next god of war stream very cool oh yeah jellyfish don't have a brain and they have like 30 eyes <laughs> which don't yeah. actually see things god i wish that were me um. Hmm. Oh. Um. Aha! I had a feeling. No, I fucked up. Uh, 
it's gonna be good night. I really want there to be another season of spider anime, but I don't think we're getting that. Uh, you've collected three and three horns of blood time. mead. Conan's guard was a beautiful land in its heyday. Before the dwarf oh, more rage for you, poisoned his mind. Shit. Is my rage maxed? How could he let that happen? The dwarf blindly Did trusted the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. This is the result. Trust is a gamble. Like you said, and the dwarf king lost. There's nine of each, three total upgrades. Okay. So I've got the second bar of rage. Ooh, okay. So I've, I've got a full two rages worth of rage. You can rage. Give me that shit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! It's a big man. Huge man comes to the portal right here. Oh, Man. Lord, Lord. Those are nuts, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they go for it. Lord, Lord, man. Girl considers cheating on her boyfriend. Turns out boyfriend was cheating on her with long man all along. <laughs> I'm like, oh my. <laughs> Like, this is certainly a series of commercials. I love the happy ending. Love him. <laughs> Huge upgrade. I've, uh, I've fallen in love with the game. Frustrates me though. Sheesh. 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 Hey, yo. Hello. And pure essence of the realms. And dust of the realms. Nice. And some hacksaw. Kratos is annoyed because there's so much dust of this realm being left around. <laughs> I've got so much dust, I'm sneezing it. I'm going to snort it, boy. Dad, no. <sighs> oh, oh, fuck. Boy, boy I sm Boy, I hear colors. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> Dad, are you okay? I see sounds, boy. <laughs> Boy, the first time cleric, cleric, cleric in my group's first session is Saturday, and I'm a tiefling grave cleric. Well, Thera over here played a grave cleric for two years in our Icewind yeah. Dale campaign. It's a really good subclass. Might be my favorite cleric subclass. I don't see anything else I need to do around here. If you, if you want, if you want to make sure your group doesn't die, grave cleric, good, good. I might run a game of D and D after we're done Tomb of Annihilation in IRL oh. here. Oh. Yeah. But it's like I'm. It's like I have an idea for a homebrew thing, but if I can't get that working, I might just run the uh, pre-made that comes with the Planescape set. I'm thinking about making Mondays my running my own D and D thing after uh, after ties that bind is over. Oh shit! I like I have a you I have an idea for right a really beam. I have a really well, like the idea that I have is like because I've done Perzel the other campaign I'm running is very Magitek oriented. This campaign materials. I want to run is very just magic but bullshit. They're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something shit. so? So... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. Fire of Ares. A slam so attack that sends out a fiery wave. Oh. 
Complete all of Brock and Sindri's favors. Huh. You do it. Hey, here's the fire of errors. Oh no, I'm not doing this shit again. Mm, not this shit again. <laughs> Kratos is walking down that alley. Oh shit, here we go again. again. Oh shit, here we Just go again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep at. Oh yeah? Who's that? Like, the well, campaign idea I have here, is that. Fair point. A fucking... One of the archmages of my world might return and the players might have to deal with that. Ooh, I like to funny, turn off funny Space Heater. Man. Well... The, in my homebrew world, the way the archmages work is that they're essentially... Each of them are essentially one step away from becoming gods themselves. So oh, what you find out? And the way that they do that is that they're supposed to fight and eat and consume each other's power. And the and like the couple that are left at the end of all that are the ones that become new gods. Hmm. But... But like the last one never finished because all the art because all the archons just sort of disappeared. So one of them might come back, and that's what I might have, and that might have the party dealing with that as like the overarching story. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 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 What do we think, chat? Sindri's Royal Dwarven Breastplate, or Brock's Royal Dwarven Breastplate. The cooldown buff is massive. I take a big strength hit. But most of my other stats take a little boost as well. Hmm. Brock's is, is a defense and a luck boost, but... Yeah, I don't know. There's also the perk. Moderate perk activation chance to grant protective barrier preventing damage from enemy attacks when using a runic attack. Increases the rate at which rage is gained. Stacks up to 30% max. Huh. Real old school D&D people know about the peasant real gun. Okay. So I posted on Twitter that I want to oh do boy, a stream at some again. point where okay. I debunk these like cheese strats or like yeah. spell oh. things like insta kill your BBEG with a fucking cantrip. Let me just let me just get the most the, the one that sparked this whole thing in my head in the first place. Mm -hmm. There's there's one guy on TikTok. I, I forget I forget what his name is. He's like, I can kill your BBEG with a cantrip. I uh, Mage Hand specifies that I don't have to see where I'm casting it, so I'm casting Mage Hand inside of your BBEG's chest cavity, and I'm moving his heart around. So as and a I'm like, now, Connor, like, yeah, no, Connor, no, let me explain. <laughs> First of all. Um, first and foremost, I, I would allow somebody to cast Mage Hand inside of someone's chest cavity. However, the heart is being worn slash carried, so it cannot be manipulated. Yep. Yeah. The, the same thing with the brain. I, I, I saw, I saw another TikTok akin to that of like, like, oh, uh, I'm going to use shape water on the BBG's guy's blood because the blood is 51% water. No, so I'm going to just turn all it, of his blood into ice. And it's like, the, no, that's the not spell. How the spell specifies water, not a substance yeah. made of water. <laughs> now, I got now, now, uh, also Immortals Blade also is correct here. A person, a person counts as an object, as in the whole person. So you can't grab at a specific internal yeah. part of a, them. A, yeah. a person counts as a creature, not an object. <laughs> they are a single whole creature, and you can't, you can't with mage hand. You cannot grab a creature. When they're a corpse, so, they count as both. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I I fucking tweeted about it the other day. Just the the people that come up with these dumb rulings and these crazy, insane. So like things that are like within the rules but they're so fucking insane like they either don't actively play in D D games See, and if they are they are the least fun people to play with and also as darth revan says it specifies you can't directly hurt someone with it so saying you're gonna grab their heart that's also directly hurting them so you would not be allowed to do that so yeah i also would also as a dm they would say i cast mage hand inside of them i go okay and they go, I grab the heart. I'm like, you don't know where... I'm like, okay, uh, you can't. Why? Because you can't see the heart. Also, also, someone... That that same person said, I can kill your BBEG by casting plant growth. Uh, have have Has your BBEG eaten any vegetables in the last 24 hours? Oh my god. And it's like, no. I Well, the, he's like, the spell specifies that you don't have to see... Uh, the the thing, and I'm like, well, first of all, motherfucker, when when the the it has to be so plant, it has to be like a living thing, a living yeah, plant. it has to have the ability to grow still. If it is chewed up and being digested inside of somebody's system, that is not that is no longer like a plant. That is like food that is being digested. Digested food slash animal matter is not living. Yeah. You, contrary to popular belief, you cannot grow plants inside of your stomach. It no, doesn't you work. Your stomach acid is incredibly volatile towards most things we eat. Yeah. I think even, like, rules as now, like, I think, um... If, if you eat, like, troll meat... Like troll me, like regenerative <laughs> troll me. Like I think, I think even that gets digested by normal digestive. Well, digestive it's it, it, because pieces. because the trolls regenerative thing stops if they take fire or acid damage, and because yeah. your stomach, you have stomach acid. Yeah, you would cancel out the trolls regenerative abilities. Yeah, so if there's active like plant matter in your stomach it, it's not viable for plant growth my because it, it's acid my the uh, sort of the opposite of this i think my favorite example is the uh, fucking um the uh robot oh chicken God. skit mm. where this dude is fighting a werewolf and he yeah. like he, like, shoots him with silver bullets. He pulls out a flamethrower, incinerates him, throws him into a meat grinder, turns him into sausages, eats the sausages, and shits them out. And then it cuts to, like, two kids, and one's, like, looking at a rule book sideways. And he says, <laughs> technically, he's still alive. And he's like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I remember that one. Also, one. also car downloader pointed out calcium is a metal bones are made of calcium i cast heat metal on the bones yeah calcium <sighs> is a metal with metallic properties though it's in the metal class of elements but it do doesn't you, have metallic properties do you so have therefore to you see can't. the target one second uh, let, me see, let me see let me see let me see because Find some me. someone said like oh i could cast heat metal on the iron in your blood i'm like okay you cast no. heat metal on a single iron particle floating in someone's blood yeah because also, it has to be a single thing <laughs> Yeah. Uh, choose. Oh, with heat metal, choose a manufactured metal object. Bones there are you not go. manufactured. There you go. Yeah. And even then, I'm gonna say this as a person who loves science: calcium is on Ugh. the met is on the alkaline metal side, or the the, oh. the alkaline earth metal side. Yeah. Well, that is not metal. Yeah, that yeah. It is not like a forgeable, like, heatable metal. Yeah, like like it's bones. Not the same. Bones can have like the alchemical like iron and calcium in in the material that is bone, but bone is not metal. Yeah, Burke Flax, when I have someone try to argue with me about that, I just say, Do you wanna leave? And they look yeah. at me and then they go, What? I'm like, Do you wanna leave? Because I've made my ruling and I've yeah. made my ruling beyond uh beyond reasonable argument now, and now you're just nitpicking to get your way. Do you wanna leave? Yeah. And they usually go no. Then I say sit down and shut up, and we're carrying on. I think I think I will choose uh, Sindri's breastplate. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, we're playing God of War. 
No, it's like it's funny how we got onto the frustrating DM, like frustrating. Uh, I, player I see moments. so much. Or, or and, what do you think? What do you think, Chad? Brock or Sindri? Yeah. It's it's because I I try to cater my algorithm to D and D stuff, and then I get these crazy shorts and TikToks and stuff. Yeah. Of just like here's this crazy busted build that will completely blow out your DM's backside or something, and it's like I don't want this. This isn't fun. <laughs> See, <laughs> blow up, blow out your DM's back, <laughs> rupture your DM's asshole inside out. Uh, I'll Fucking, right back, guys. yeah, that's okay. why. I, that's why I want to do the stream because it's like people are like, "This will be great," and I'm like, "No, no." Um, people are saying Brock. Striker class says go for Sindri. Brock is good at making weapons, but Sindri is the armorsmith. Ooh, the lore choice. But it's like I, I like I, how that that also plays into what the what the perks of the individual armor does because Sindri's mm -hmm. uh, is protective and Brock's gives you rage, which focuses on attack. Yeah. I did um. I did actually years ago now. Um, I used to play in a game with somebody that was just a power gamer that just at every turn just tried to like bend the mechanics to the limit and they just they just weren't fun to play with. Maybe I'll do a poll. Now, oh. Yeah, do a poll. What is it? X go. Exclamation point poll. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Poll. Yeah. Statue breaker. I I have a I have a rule in in like my Discord where I DM where um like the the rule is essentially just like be a team player. Like like even if your character is reluctantly like going along with the story, like they have to have a reason for mm -hmm. to be there and stuff and to work with the party. Because. Nobody, nobody likes the chaotic neutral asshole that just does stuff. Uh, Thero, do you have any cleric tips for a newbie cleric? Oh god. Um. Whew. Healing word is the best spell in the game. <laughs> it really is. Um. So always have healing word prepped. Um. Spare Even the dying though, is a bonus action because of yeah, your subclass. Yeah, if yeah, if you're playing Grave Cleric, yeah, Spare the Dying is a bonus action. Um, this is something I learned um, in the Icewind Dale game, and there, th no spoilers for Icewind Dale. Don't worry. Um, I first started playing. Um, I'm back. I, I first started playing. It, my play style was, I didn't start healing until people started going down. Unfortunately, that works in like theory, but not in practice. Because if you wait till people start going down to healing, like to heal, you can quickly snowball into a TPK if rolls don't go well. So often, what I would do is if like we went into a dungeon, I would be very, very like loosey goosey with my spell slots. And then when I would get to the last like three or four spell slots, then I would hold on to those like they were precious. But like keep your party topped off. Like, cause um, that way, like it just Ooh. removes the stress of-, of Okay, we can mix and match here actually. Yeah. Um, no, I, yeah. If it and again, if you're playing Grave Cleric, you fu you need to that channel divinity at level six where you can or no, you get it earlier. That uh, that channel divinity where you can um, make something vulnerable to its next source of damage. If you have a rogue in the party, oh my god, oh my there, god, the burst damage potem potential. There are some incredibly crunky combinations you can do. Yeah. Also, as uh, a person. You go, you go. You I, I was just gonna say, damage vulnerability is like a very rare thing a player can dish out. So grave cleric, like you pick grave cleric so you can just make things vulnerable to damage. Like that is that is 
the greatest part of the subclass, in my opinion. But yeah, you were going to say something, guys, about playing cleric? Well, playing classes in general, I often mm. I like to I like to uh, multi-class, right? Yeah, yeah. Much to some of my friends' <laughs> chagrin, I like to multi-class, but I don't multi-class for power gaming. I multi-class for character purpose, yeah. because yeah. every single like I don't lo I don't just so it's like because I I remember the one thing that really annoyed me back in the day is this is my. One friend made a character and gave me this huge, cruel backstory about how they sounded this thing. Like, all right, cool. That sounds like a really cool bar, like a really, really cool uh, paladin, because this person was all part of a holy order and all this stuff. And they said, "Well, no, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a ranger of this." And I'm like, "Wait mm -hmm. a minute, what?" And he's like, "Well, yeah, he's a ranger of this because that's what's really good in the game right now." And I was like, "Oh, so you went with the meta relevant thing rather than..." what makes sense for your character's backstory. He's like, well, I can just do whatever I want. I'm just like, true, but I, I, I like the thing that is like, I genuinely, like, I will never stop a player from playing something they want to play, right? Mm. It's like, but I genuinely as a player who plays lots of characters and has a lot of experience being a DM, every time I play a character, I love to tie my character's backstory and their classes and their multi-classes all together into character. Right. Mm. So, that's what I do. So when I go, I'm going to multi-class, and people go, "Oh, what broken OP bullshit are you doing?" I'm like, N "Nothing. This just makes sense for what yeah. I want to do with my character and their background." The current mm. character I'm playing is a arcane trickster rogue, combined with a uh, hexblade uh, warlock. Right. I right. my character is mad right. as warlock. fuck. It's too multi ability dependent. I have so many abilities that depend on so many things. Mm -hmm. But I'm having fun because that's what happened, right? There is like yeah. the arcane trickster stuff. I honestly just genuinely flavored as like smoke bombs and stuff like that. It was a lot of fun to do because they were doing sneaky thief stuff. And then when they did the warlock stuff, that's because uh, of backstory stuff, right? Yeah. But I, I always tie it into character. I never, I never try to be the... Uh, the power gamer because I, I I've dealt with too many power gamers in my time. Me too. I never want to be the power gamer. Now I will never make a character that's ineffective unless I think that's fun. Unless that like for some reason I make that part of the character. I'll always make my character capable of fighting and capable of doing things. Mm. But I will never I will never power game my way to victory. That's not how I work. Yeah, same same. I, I, I also just want to repeat something Bergflax said, just meta this, meta that, have you ever met a woman? <laughs> oh my fucking god. Have you ever met a woman? Amazing. That armor looks sick, by the way. It does look sick. Yeah. It decked out in the dwarven drip. If you had to play a Final Fantasy XIV job in a D&D game, what would it be? Uh, well, good. there's there's a lot of equivalences for jobs, and there's way to, ways to play each one. I think oh, Astrologian yeah. would be cool. Um, Dark Knight would also be really cool. Oh, yeah. Hmm, yeah, yeah. Huh. Huh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You know what? Blue Mage for really fun funky stuff. I would be Dragoon. Um, Blue Mage would be oh. hilarious. Blue Mage would be hilarious. Imagine taking like a Beholder's Disintegration Ray or like a Dragon's Flame Flame Breath. That'd be cool as hell. Do I plan to Blue fight Mage all the Valkyries? Uh, I, I mean, I, I started a mission. I might as well end it. I just need to figure out where they are. Yep. I mean, I think Connor's are like well over halfway done with killing all the Valkyries. Yeah, but Bergflax, that character in Final Fantasy IX who is the Blue Mage, the eating them is very specific to that character, though. But it would be funny if you did play the Gourmand, I have to eat the creature. <laughs> in each of the two optional realms. I mean... Uh... Well, it depends what Connor wants to do. I 
just don't know where they are. It depends if you want to go searching for them. Have I done the ones in the optional areas? I don't even know. How, how would I know? Is there like a thing that tells me? Well, in this, actually, if you go back to your menu there. I don't know where to look. If you go back to your map there, it says you've done three out of four in Midgard on the side. Hmm. But yeah, it's like... I... I like having fun at the table with everybody. I like cooperatively running through a story with players. That's what I always tell D&D is, is you're writing a story together, right? Yeah. Yeah. You're making a story together. And, and it's, it's it's no fun when somebody comes along and just like, I mage hand his heart or I shape water his blood. It's like, that's it's, not fun. When somebody tries to go, I've made this build that's going to make it really hard for you as a DM to do anything, and it's not going to be fun for you. And then I go, okay, well, then you're not allowed to play. And they go, what? And I'm like, yeah, you're not allowed to play. Congratulations, because... your build isn't going to be used. Congratulations, you can't play that. And then they go, what? why? I'm like, because we're not here to fight each other. We're here to have fun. Yep. And then they go, God, well, that's not... And I'm like, that's, that's entirely what D&D is. We're here to have fun together. We're not here to make each other mad at the table. And if you can't handle that, then this isn't right for you. Yep. We got some Hell yeah. fucking runes here. Because D&D isn't a competition. D&D is a game you play together. D&D can be a competition, but not in most settings. Indeed. Indeed. D&D used to have a bunch of uh, tournaments. There used to be like tournament modules for that would be Whoa. run by like. Uh, oh, hang on. Did you do break? <gasps> Did you do? What, what the fuck? Wait. Oh oh. <laughs> God. I'm so glad you got that thing. It's really fun to do. <laughs> <laughs> I cast minor yeah. illusion to make a small smoke cloud in front of the bad guy's I, eyes. He walks I'd, through it. I, God, I would love to like Connor. I imagine like, like I'm imagining your neighbors are having an argument or something, and you just come in the background <laughs> no, <laughs> and, just, and just blast the didgeridoo, and they stop arguing, and they're just like, "What the fuck?" Congratulations, you saved a marriage. Yeah. <laughs> 25% resistance. Blessing of cooldown when damage is taken. Hmm. Okay. And now the boy is it's already whap. 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 Uh. How dare you? <sighs> um, defeat the remaining Valkyries. Uh, yeah. Fucking. <laughs> Where do I do that? Complete the road work ahead. Language save. Complete the Musfelheim. Use the realm table to travel to Musfelheim. Complete the Niflheim language cipher. Muspelheim disc is complete. I can now make out the runes, even the travel rune for visiting the realm of fire. I wonder if Father would want to go. Okay. Uh. Oh. Well, I I go here. I guess. Mm hmm. Pictomancer sounds like it'd be fun in D and D. Yeah, it sounds like it'd be like a, a College of Creation bard would be the equivalent of it, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I can't fucking read, dude.
Kratos just melts as soon as the fucking thing turns. Opens it, <laughs> dies. <God. laughs> Boy, why did you not tell me it was around the fire? Dad, I did. Uh, I spaced out while I was inserting the runes on my armor. What were we talking about? Oh. D and D stuff. Shit's I, hot, I boy. I don't remember. Well, I just, I really, it's like, it's like I just, it's like I just know that I really want to DM for the group after we're done Tomb of Annihilation. That's all I know. I really want to do. I want to run Chains of Asbolius at some point. That'd be really cool. Yeah, I, I, I think I want to, I think I want to do. Uh, Descent into Avernus, followed by Chains of Asmodeus. Oh, That's probably a cool shit. idea. I, I do know that I do, I do know that Descent into Avernus needs a little bit of tweaking, but mm. it, it like it is it is a it is a cool module when things run well. Wow. We're on the fire. It's hot here, but is that? I'm gonna go down. Hot? I'm gonna go Gosh. down there and fix Zeriel. It only falls like that for great fires. <laughs> Good luck. The whole realm is a great I, fire. That's actually I'm, a I'm, I'm about to risk and all it all. And stars, if legend is to be believed. Should we believe? I mean, we're here, and we're not on fire. Not yet. Well, you know, I suppose it's cooled considerably. Immortal's Blade, the I have read creation, through most of the module. It? It's not Niflheim really bad. isn't exactly it's ice these days either. In it's in the nature of things. Extremes are tempered by time. Fires burn colder, men grow old and gray. Heads are chopped off and attached to belts. Such is life. Uh, okay, Mimir. Any ideas of who you would want for your campaign? Um, I am not entirely sure. Because, I'm not sure because a lot of the people I know who are big into D&D spheres have already read some of those modules. Eh. Uh. What's the worst worst module ever released and why? Oh, um, I, that's a I conversation. Hear, yeah, I hear <laughs> Monty doesn't like Tyranny of Dragons, like as base. I think Tyranny I of Dragons it was released before the before Five E was done. So yeah. yeah, I think Princes of the Apocalypse I heard was not that great. Yeah, I've heard Princes of the Apocalypse was bad. Princes of the Apocalypse, I've I've also heard, is not great. Well, Prince of the Apocalypse... It's not that the cult is a threat, isn't a threat, Terran. It's that uh, Tyranny was released at a time when D&D &D wasn't fully finished, and there's just... There's just a bunch of stuff that just doesn't flow together well, and there's a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense, and things are are um, just not written in a sensible way sometimes. So it's just like, and there's an entire chapter in there which can just be cut out. It'd be cool to get Jack to play D&D. I don't think Jack likes standard D&D all that much. I think he's more into other systems. I mean, that's fair. Oh yeah. I've heard Salt Marsh is a mixed bag. Salt Marsh is really cool when you're not doing boat stuff. But but boat stuff is cool. Boat stuff is cool. Boat stuff is cool, but I think the way they wrote boat stuff in that campaign was really bad. Ah, oh, damn yeah. it. Don't don't spoil it, but I'll I'll take your word for it. Well, yeah, the beginning of Avernus is the roughest part, but like, not spoiling anything, but it's like, that is the I, roughest part of the game. I've heard it's literally impossible. Look here. It's not, Another. it's just really hard. This one's called Sewerter. Well, I'm also now. super deep into battle tech, so I understand Trust that. An original. Makes a flaming sword. A weapon of legend. He fights Thor and Odin, but is that the past or the future? Hmm. That may be a matter of perspective. Hmm. The first...
Well, but I, I do genuinely think that it might be Tyranny of Dragons is probably the worst, just because it it was written kind of poorly mm. in its entirety. SMH. Salt Marsh has problems because it's lifted almost entirely from a separate edition. Yeah, that's a problem with Salt Marsh. There are parts of Salt Marsh which are really cool, though, I've heard. They recently Listen. did a. Uh, I hear a voice. Another elf. I don't think so. It's coming from up there. They recently did another 5e conversion of a previous adventure. That's available for free if you have a subscription to D&D Beyond. Mm -hmm. um, Which one? It, uh, the one I told you about in the... Uh, oh, the Sajcan? Oh, the Netherdeep chat, yeah. Yeah. What is that one about? Uh, Sajcan. Oh, Sajcan? Lo Lost Caverns of Sajcan. I know, oh, I know, I know, I know. There's some sort of level that has like six doors on it or something. Because I aren't they redoing that... Die Vecna Die? Sort of. It's it's called Vecna Eve of Ruin. And, yeah, and and it's kind of like Die Vecna Die. It's but it's not really. Yeah, the new Vecna thing is like it's a module from level ten to twenty. And it's like multiverse shit. Like you're going across mm -hmm. multiverses and stuff. Mm -hmm. You are. You're going to Eberron. You're going to Strahd. You're going like yeah. You're going to Eberron, Ravenloft. It's it's a multiversal, yeah, uh, expansive campaign. Yeah. This I, this is this I, I isn't a spoiler. It's like on the tin. I want to run that. Yeah, one it's as well. on there. I want to. I was I was originally planning on getting the the guys together from uh, mixing the party from the charity one shot and that one time I ran don't say Vecna for you guys in mm. person. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But hearing that it starts at level ten, I'm thinking like mm, maybe I'll just do a different party. Might get the same people, but yeah, yeah. Entirely up to you. Yeah. I was all geared for that, and then because of the extraneous horse. circumstances, just I didn't around the corner. Big. Oh. It's a great big sword. It wants to know if we're ready to train. Uh. Sword. Complete the trials to unlock the next area. X to accept the challenge. Circle to reject the call. Triangle to warm up. Let's warm up, I guess. Robert, Practice. You. Runic attacks and talisman abilities recharge immediately. Return to the area. Oh. We're also on like the hardest difficulty, I think. Right? module I kind of know out of the abyss. That's a certified sort of classic. I, I read the first chapter because I was curious. And it and it starts as a jailbreak. Like the party is in jail like in the underdark and like drow jail and they got a jailbreak as like the first part of the, the module and I'm like that that's cool. That's cool. I would. Prepare I'd love to. Boy. I'd love to yes, play sir. D and D with everyone sometime. I love this one. Yeah, you're on time. Yeah, three minutes. Oh, 
Ow. Oh, that's Jimmy Neutron. This is perfect for him. And then curious about Slurm, that stuff from Futurama? It's worm shit. I think Dragon Heist is a really good entry level D and D. Oh, Dragon Heist! Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. It, it's a really good entry level D and D adventure. It has its problems, but it's just—it's really good for Wouldn't teaching nice people. To find some incense just uh, once. Like a, a smell sort of just generally easy way to lean them into D and D. So board do we are these multiple trials? Level to this challenge. Kill enemies in quick succession. Be ready, boy. I am. Enemies will resurrect if other enemies are left alive. You gotta kill the book. Excuse me. That guy came from off panel. Sir, he's gotta wait your turn. You have to you have to telegraph your attack, sir. And if you recognize Excuse me?
your ass out here. Fuck me, dude. All right, all right. Get your ass out here. Get over. Get over here so I can kill all of you at once. Get the fuck over here. I need all of you to come to the fuck zone. It's time to all fucking right, party. All right, okay. All right, I'm over here. <laughs> Post levels out of here. <laughs> oh fuck! Welcome to the fuck zone. Welcome to the rice fields. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the cobble. Oh god. Is it um? Zen posts a picture of lasagna grilled cheese and I go, damn, that actually does. Please, 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 Yeah, lasagna grilled cheese. Oh, for fuck's sake. Lasagna grilled cheese, when you absolutely need to clog every artery in your body. Stop. Is that a gorilla? Is that a monkey? Motherfuckers in one area. Please, can we get just everyone? Everyone over here? Fantastic. Thank you. Where's the last one? Fucker.
<sighs> Collect your reward. And now this is pot. Sm Twelve smoldering embers. Another gate opened up. Another one. Is the sword gonna funny come back? Guess not. Thoughts on fantasy westerns? Fuck yeah, westerns are awesome. So, Love me some fantasy lives western here. shit. That? Cowboys a giant could be at home. Real yeah. shit. Cool. And according to prophecy, like, we cowboys will, will always be cool. Ragnarok. Till the day I die. You add fantasy to that shit? Oh man. I'm a cowboy. On a steel uh, cock around. I, I think huh? critical critical role did a uh, thing. Uh, that was in the Wild West. That was really fucking cool. It was like a weird west thing. Oh yeah. Uh it was DM'd by uh Brian W. Foster. Uh who uh, allegedly is a piece of shit. I, I don't know any any validity to any claims, but yeah. Um, for, for legal reasons, for, allegedly. For, allegedly, yes. Uh, but the game itself was pretty cool. I I know that after I'm done DMing for my other group, IRL right now, because I have a group of other people, including my roommate. I know that our other friend is going to do. Um, I forget what the system is called, but it's weird west as fuck. And like, I'm gonna play a Treasure Planet style cyborg pirate. What? Steampunk cyborg pirate. In this isn't weird that, west world. Isn't that the guy actually John's got a restraining order on? Yeah, her ex-husband, or I'm not sure if it's ex at this point, but yes. That is, that is correct. Alexa, turn on Space Heater. Getting immersed. Mm -hmm. I want to be a Deadlands. cowboy, baby. There's another sword. The, the, Deadlands. The Sedan, de de the we're going to be trying is Deadlands. Yeah. And I'm going to play, uh, I'm going to play a cyborg pirate in that. Which is funny, because I've been described for five really minutes. Gone. Oh my. oh my god. <laughs> well, good luck, Connor. No, good luck, Connor. Um, but like the description I was given of what class I've chosen here is it's just like, oh yeah, there's only one place you can get your implants put in and you have to travel there and there's two, only two guys who can do it. So, and you have to buy and pre-purchase all of them. So if your shit gets broken, get ready. And I'm like, oh, oh he's boy. just healing. Gotta live. Get you a bro who, when you die, will throw your, uh, will throw your PC in your mouth so long. So the feds can't find your CP stack. Kakarot, my computer got hacked. Well, don't worry, Vegeta, it's not that big a deal. No, you don't understand, the Discord messages got leaked. Vegeta, we have Vegeta. to blow up the earth. <laughs> Vegeta, we have to blow up, we have to blow up the internet, Vegeta. I'm in those logs, Vegeta. You know what anime I've never had so many mixed feelings on? Really like. 
What? Is that slime anime? The, like, Sekai slime one? Yeah, I like it, but I've never had so many mixed feelings on it. Because they cowered out and turned all the cool monsters into pretty good. Aw, damn the fucking cowards! I know. Well, the goblins, some of the goblins stay goblins. But it's like, they mostly cowered out and turn all the... And the orcs stays are looking for you guys. It's like, they cowered out and turn all the anime pe all the monsters into pretty anime people. And I'm like, stop it. Like, stop it. Just make them look cooler. Just make them look like cooler people. Stop making them pretty. But I know why they do that, and that's because it sells. Insanely useful. Yeah. See, I haven't seen many people use Elf. You can use Elf very well. Because Elf just walks around shooting elements everywhere, right? <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to toss the fucking dog off the mountain. Damn it. Is there just like a bounding box there? Oh. I mean, Squirrel's cool and all, but the best defense is just murdering the fast one. This shit's peasy. I mean, it's just not that. I believe the practice was, here's the fucking be-all, end-all super things, and they go, Tiki, here's the trial, the few level threes. There's another really cool uh, tabletop role playing game that I'd like to tell you. I have to ask you. But it's essentially, it's uh, you play as security guards in a super cultural future. And um, you each have five clones because the game is based on just not trying to waste all your clones, right? Oh, Paranoia. Is that? Yeah, Paranoia. I fucking love Paranoia. Yeah, paranoia has a high potential for hilarity to ensue. Well, it's be it's because like every player starts off with five clones, and the point is is that you're supposed to just not lose all your clones before the mission ends. Because if you complete an actual task, you get some clones back and you get better gear, right? Uh, correct. You might even get your clearance uh, up uh, upgraded. Yeah, and I remember uh, the w the ones that like we played three sessions of it, right? We managed to complete two tasks, and then our DM had to move. But, like, we got our clearance upgraded, and we finally got, like, access to good stuff, and then we couldn't play anymore. But one of the missions we had was we were supposed to go escort, we were supposed to go collect and get, like, a piece of technology. Which turned out to be, like, kind of like one of those, like, talking dog toys, you know? Uh -huh. And it was like it was supposed to it was like a it was like a, a child protection tool. And it started talking and one of our players got annoyed, so he, he kicked it, and it said defense mode activated, and then two miniguns popped into the side, and it started shooting rapidly and spinning around in the elevator and stuff with us and it killed us all. It was like oh, oops. Pretty 
straightforward. If you are the communist traitor, you would tell Frank Peter all you know before they execute it. Yes, true. I also would like to try and get a Lancer game off the ground. Oh, oh yeah, exactly. I have all the I have all the Lancer books on the computer. I just, oh, I've asked around several times. We get my mom, but now I'm sad. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't okay. need an excuse. Yeah. My game changer. Yeah. yeah. I would I would love to see it. Like, Is there world class support for Lancer? I don't know. I have to look. Lancer's pretty small in the grand scheme of things, but they have a really cool fleshed out system. That's good for like doing missions or campaigns. Right? Mm -hmm. Um. Just, you know, Shadowrun. Oh, yeah, that's Shadowrun. Oh, yeah. I've actually only ever... I've never gotten to play Shadowrun. I do want to try it. But I'd also like to try World of Darkness stuff. So, you know. Yeah! I would, I would, I would suck someone's, like, triple cock if I got to play Vampire someday. <laughs> Well, I, I played it once, but it, you know, I would like to. Play. stuff said it's fine. I think that just comes to people's per personal preference. It, it looks like he just said, fuck it, I don't want to get hit by Kratos anymore. Honestly. <laughs> Yeah. 
Let's dance, Bozo. We're going to town, fuckface. I know the last World of Darkness character I played was, uh... I played, as an o I played a Nosferatu, Nosferatu vampire who ended up being the party face because I made him really charismatic. Nosferatu. Man, this trial's taking a long fucking time. But ironically, he was a Nosferatu, so he looked very not. Taking forever. We are beating you. Wearing you down. Took a long time. I'm gonna be flush with hack silver at the end of this. And more smoldering ember. There's the way through. Smoldering this is where you farm hack silver. <laughs> smoldering ember, crease boy. With World of Darkness, there's a few things that are just outright avoid at all costs, even if it's mechanically fine. I mean, I genuinely looked, and I actually have no idea where to find the books and stuff, so I wouldn't even know what that is. Uh, I, I downloaded a bunch of PDFs while they were on sale. Yeah. Yeah, I got like a hundred dollars worth of World of Darkness stuff for like twenty. Is it, are they just on Drive Through RPGs? Uh, it was through something different. It wasn't Drive Through RPG. I don't think anyway. It's just like because I've never been able to find the source books anywhere when I've looked, unless it's like a site like that, and I'm just like, this surely can't be the only place to find it, is it? And it's just like, oh, okay. Isn't Drive Through RPG owned by wizards in some fashion? I keep breathing in ash. I think they're partnered Imagine with wizards. Imagine breathing it in from your throat stump. Uh, I really can't. Have you noticed that when you use the World Tree door, you regain all your health? No, I did not notice. Well, it's like I'm sure there's stuff to stay away from in World of Darkness, but it's like. My, it's like, my friends who play the modern stuff have just told me, no, the modern stuff's pretty good, for the most part. I don't know. It seems like it's one of those things where it's like, it's a taste thing, is what's going on. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how oh, some wow. people don't like 5e it's because of its wonderful. mechanics, but some people, but a, a lot of people do. Yes, this isn't mm -hmm. at all terrifying, is it? I'm one of those people. Written by an abuser? You mean Beast of Primordial is? Ah, I see. Five yeah. E Werewolf has apparently been very controversial due to behind the scenes stuff. That makes sense. Another sword. I wonder how many of these there are. 
Oh, it's six. The voice says six. Kill grunts and break the elite Ready. shield. Ready. Stellum! Uh, hundred are you slapping? I also got a little paranoia because I know I'm gonna fuck with that character at some point. Is uh, actively protecting his ally. Yeah. I can't see shit. There are. Oh, it's six. The voice says six. I played in Cyberpunk Red once. I played a uh, nomad who was a clown who had a clown car. Ready? Oh Ready. my god. <laughs> I, don't, I wasn't just like a silly clown. I was like Joker style business clown man. But I had a clown car with a clown face on it. So. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Are you kidding me? Why at the end of my fucking... Oh. Where did he go? Leave the most passive aggressive thought I ever thought was the game 
because the neighbor, I parked in my apartment building here. The neighbor's dog started barking at me, and for some reason my brain was like, shut up or I'll eat you. <laughs> I'll put you on a spit and roast you. I'm making a real hot dog, baby. Neighbor, I made, I made these slippers for you. Sorry your dog went missing. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god. Why does, it, why does this leather look familiar? Please god, let me fucking see. The elves love the blind and shit. They love it. He hates the cold. <laughs> that dude was just standing there like, hey, have a fun. Replaying this game, I found the elves really fucked up. God. There are. <laughs> oh, it's six. The voice says six. Ready? Ready. This fucking blows. Ooh. The Jable. Yeah, shoot. The Jable. Thank you for reading with a party of five. Thank How's it going? Hey, man, dude. I hope your stream went well. What were you playing tonight? Well, welcome. We're playing through God of War 2018. We're currently doing some trials in the Fire Realm. No spoilers, please.
get the fuck back here. <laughs> he fucking noped the hell out of there. <laughs> nah, bro. <laughs> nah, man, I'm gonna do my own thing. Nah, bro, I'm out. I don't want to deal with that. Are you kidding me? Do you, do you think the elf guy here is like, oh, I'm going to be the one. I'm going to be the I, one to get Kratos. He's like, I'm him. Having our mythological adventure with Hades. Ah. Such a good game. Such a good game. Mm -hmm. The only um the only game by was it Devil Fine? No, it's uh that. Oh no my brain. Uh Hades. Sneakily uh, runs to Steam so that yeah. my Super my Giant. Brain, super giant, yeah. Yep. The only game by Supergiant to receive a sequel. Mm-hmm. Honestly, all of their games have been really good. Oh, yeah. All of their games have been bangers so far. They they make nothing but quality. Mm-hmm. I love Pyre, personally. Pyre, the music in Pyre, for a funny uh, spirit sports ball game, made me actually tear up at certain points. Mm, giving this... Streaming thing, a try a few months ago, and I'm having a blast with it. Well, awesome! Yeah. Glad you're having a fantastic time streaming, dude. And also, yeah, it has been a while. Uh, Deusa is my beloved. Deusa, my beloved. Bravo, my lead. Deusa, my beloved. Say the word. Deusa, Eur Deusa deserves everything. Eurydice's is also very hot. All the characters in Hades are very hot. Yeah, everyone is. <laughs> Nyx is, uh, is also a very good player. Nyx is... is, is <laughs> god. Do you like MILFs? Do you like GOTS? Well, you get the best of both wor worlds. If GOTS would be warring, hey, what's up, Zen? Zen! Hello, Zen. Un Pastello! Hemlo. Oh, my God. 
genuinely Hades as a completely good rest of the game. Like, kind of what the fuck do Zagreus and Thanatos have going on? Oh, um. Because, <laughs> something very man, Greek. It's something very Greek. <laughs> it's very ancient Greek. That's actually the best description. One might be able to call it homosexual. They're also kind of related, though. <laughs> when is that ever stopped? <laughs> when has that ever stopped yeah. the Greek pantheon? For, uh, yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Sir? The boy is, the boy sir? is pulling them all. What the fuck was that hit detection? There we go. There, there, there we go. Everybody hates Zeus coming to fall with MVC. No, I love the Come story over here. The I love the story when Zeus got really Oh, the that. circle's fucking moving? Oh, fuck, alright. Here we go. I'm gonna lock in. <laughs> Time to dial in, Connor. Also, I don't think he's Hades represents how thunderous and flippant the Greek gods would be. Oh, that was definitely in there. Fucking... His body dissipates into the night. No, get up. Nah. Oh, my God. Pain. Brother, get your ass off my head! Follow my lead. Say the word.
Okay. You're almost there. Come there. There you go. Stay focused, says so dude. Un Bastello! Please get in the circle. Oh, 
Aua. Combat challenge. Follow my lead. Say the word. Let me stay on the fucking ground. That didn't fucking count.
Alright, I think I can only use these one at a time. Unless that's not actually the case. Come on, come on, come on. this my guy Come on over here I just need one of you You did it. <sighs> I'm proud of you. <laughs> I nice victory, didgeridoo. Victory, do. Yeah. You victory, dude, all over the place, Connor. Now clean up after yourself. Oh, boy. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Not in my pie. <laughs> Shit. Area four. Atreus, to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. My hands are so sweaty I can barely grip the ball. Well, my nose itches. This should be the last one, I think, right? Uh, three, three arenas with two trials each, yes. I think the rewards from this area are worth it. Ready? It's just, uh, that trial I think was the worst, oh, the second one. You made the boy, of course. Defeat 100 enemies. 
Are you ready to just do are you ready to start fucking? <laughs> Start swinging. Oh. You think with Kratos, his uh, enemies remaining ninety five of the time. The boy, of course.
man. I'll just lead him over to this cliff. You're gonna, you're gonna reenact that scene from Sparta over and over. <laughs> this Work. is Sparta. It's Sparta. It's Sparta. Work smarter, not harder. Work smarter. Oh my god. Connor, you're hilarious. I know. Work the skip and the curse. Sometimes it makes it up. Sometimes it makes it up. Sometimes it makes it up. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? It hit me through my fucking cutscene? I was dead. These guys cheat. Yes, it's up to the PS to do it to reach a fraction of your power. for Mage Hand ever. That guy tumbled in. He was <laughs> Oh, 
All right, then. Fuck my ass! No! No! Damn. I'm gonna get some water, then we'll do one more. Time for hydration. All right. You're gonna get it this time. I'm also feeling low energy. I'm fading. I've been low energy for a while. <laughs> This is easily the most tedious one. Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, it's just killing things. Yeah. Lots and lots of killing. Honestly, you should just let Kratos start spinning with his blades out at each side. Just spin to win, Kratos. Kratos, just abuse your iframes. Kratos, just turn on iframes. Don't even turn them off. Mm. Boy. I'm going Boy, to activate, I'm activate my, activate my iframes. iframes. Oh my oh my god. Dad, no, that technique is sacred. Boy. We do what we must, boy. Ready? Ready. Uh I, all oh. you have to do is cast a sticky torsion on me. <clears throat> Hell yeah. All right. I think I'm just gonna try and cast these Draugr into these lava pits as best as I can. That's gonna be my main strategy here, I think. Boy, what does Riz mean? Oh boy, is Freya trying to raise me up? <laughs> Dad, no. <laughs> Why do I see a floating circle button over Freya? <laughs> Dad, what does that mean? Normally it means it's time for me to smash something. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait no. a minute. <laughs> Both Normally. out of here. Both pebbles out of here. Normally it means I make another of you. Come on over here. Get over here.
Ooh. Get parried. Get parried. Oh, you fucking parried his Get ass. Jack parried. That was a, that was a, that was a good one. Boy, which is a tip top. Jack is my game. TikTok was the sound of a clock man. Kids don't know how to work these days. Hold yourself. No, 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 no! Fuck my fucking ass! Oh no! Oh no. Damn, bro. Oh, fuck the. You got, you got chain stunned. That's frustrating. Fucking hell. Do you want to call it there or do you want to keep going? I don't know. You guys are pretty tired, so yeah, I might just I, spare I am, you. And <laughs> you, you guys are tired. <laughs> I I am falling asleep in my chair. I am so yeah. sorry. All right, we're gonna go ahead and I, we're gonna save right there. And next time. Okay. All right. Next time. Time trials. All right, who should we raid, though? Oh, let us see. I see Monty. I see Arkolf. I see, hey, Mr. Rabbit. Let's read Rabbit. Yeah. Do Rabbit. Go give Rabbit some love. See, he, 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 needs, he needs it. Yeah. Or message will be boy. 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 <laughs> All right. Good night, everybody. Take care. Take care. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Where?